Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back once again to another First Descendant video. Really enjoying this game. It's a breath of fresh air for me personally. I haven't enjoyed a game as much as the First Descendant for a long time, and long may it continue. However, the game does have some issues. However, the last time I did a video similar to this where we was talking about the biggest issue being the fact that you can't do some of the hardest content in the game through matchmaking on the game. Credit where credit is due to Nexon. They've actually gone and, well, I don't think they've done it yet, but there's going to be a hot fix coming out sometime soon, if not already by the time this video goes live, to make it so you can do absolutely any type of content you want in this game without having to go to like an LFG looking for group thing. Everything in this game is doable via matchmaking, which is absolutely fantastic for a lot of solo gamers out there who avoid games like Destiny. And I'm sure there's others where you can't actually do everything in the game. So moving on to the specifics of this video, I just kind of want to talk about issues with the game. These are my issues with the game. I'm not saying this is going to be an issue for everybody. These are just things which I think need to be changed in the game. The gameplay in the background is just standard gameplay. Nothing really to um, shout home about. It's just something there for you to watch visually. So the number one thing I think they need to change. There's two kind of big things I, need, I think they need to change. And then the rest, you can kind of put them in whatever order you feel fit. If I do miss anything... In this video, which you think needs to be on this list, please let me know in the comments section. And again, I'm sure Nexon are going out um, looking at YouTube videos similar to mine, you know, where people are being openly critical about it. Um, which is great, because it's constructive criticism. It's not hate, it's just constructive criticism. So the first thing they definitely need to change are the boss orbs. We all know how infuriating they are when you're shooting them, and they just keep on coming back. Well, that... The reason for that is the game doesn't really even tell you this anyway. So this is probably half of the problem. Maybe the game needs to tell you this. But the boss orbs sometimes, not all the time, sometimes need to be shot in a particular order. And if you shoot them incorrectly, they will reappear. Again, a lot of people didn't know this. I've only figured it out through trial and error. Again, the game doesn't really tell you. I don't really watch many other YouTubers' videos about the game. So, again, I'm like most people. I'm trying to figure things out for myself. The game doesn't tell me, you know, the mechanics within the game. It's just a bit weird, Nexon. I think you can do better and actually sort that out. Um, maybe have it so they color-coded or something like that. But again, that is my, probably the biggest bugbear in the game right now. Um, I'm sure as people continue playing the game, they're going to actually get used to it, and then it might not be as much of an issue. So at the moment, the meta, everybody's HP stacking. Again, I learned about this yesterday from a comment in my video, so big thank you to the people who was pointing that out to me. But basically, the shield regen rate needs to be increased. It's way too slow, especially on the uh, Colossi battles. You know, you're forever going into the lava or whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure it's lava. Um, it's red and it's hot and it burns you, so I'm going to assume it's lava. Whenever you go in that, it stops your health regen, and obviously it puts your health down. Um, sorry, I've, I've said that wrong. Basically, guys, right, instead of waffling on, the shield regen rate should be increased at least two or three times. Now, the regen start time is fine because you do kind of start regening um, your shields back pretty quickly. However, when it's ticking at three or four you know, per second, well, no, it's it's more than that. But when it's only going up a minimal amount, it doesn't really give you enough time for your shield to fully regenerate. So therefore, the best option is, is to m stack as much HP and defensive stats as possible. And then obviously, the amount of health drops you get from enemies is, you know, plentiful that you're going to be all right. The only problem with doing this at the moment is you always get warning, shields gone, shields gone, shields gone all the time, and it's annoying. So that is kind of something they need to fix. If I was to suggest a way of fixing that, I would say the regen rate, once it starts regenerating after a short delay, should be three times what it is now. Again, if you've got a better idea than that, let me know. So they're the kind of two big things. Um, all the rest of what I'm going to talk about is little bits and pieces. 
Maybe some people will prioritize these more so than I did. So I think this should be an audio cue when teammates get knocked. Now, sometimes I get people who get knocked out of my line of sight. I've got no idea they've been knocked. Uh, yeah, we've kind of wiped quite a few times doing the Colossi battles. Um, so yeah, that kind of needs to be done. Encrypted vaults are the most infuriating thing in the game. Um, just because I can't do them. And a lot of people can't do them. I've had a lot of people moaning about this as well in my comment sections. However, if you use Enzo, apparently it's easy. But again, you can't really get Enzo unless you pay for him. Or you've basically grinded him already. And I, I don't think I've bumped into any Enzos in the wild while I've been playing this game. So, again, you can get around it by doing that. The encrypted vaults. To find out where they are, again, the game doesn't really tell you. Um, you just get a ping when you um, press the tab button on PC to use your eSieve. Um, or, or whatever button that is on console. Um, lagging game. Now, I kind of call it rubber banding. Because one minute you'll be fine and the next minute you'll just teleport. Rubber banding. They kind of need to sort that out. I know there's a lot of people playing the game at the moment. But come on, you know. Again, I'd say this about any game where they've got issues with the servers. Get... Get more servers, improve your infrastructure. You know, this game's going to make next and a lot of money. Improve optimization. Now, the only reason I say this is I'm getting around 90 FPS, playing in 1440p, 2K, whatever you want to call it. I'm running an RTX 3080 Ti. I should be getting more frames than that on this game because, let's be real, yes, it does look nice, but it's not, it's not like it's, you know, the Hunt Showdown or something like that where the graphics are absolutely incredible. Better explanations for modules. Now, a lot of the modules are kind of pretty straightforward, but there's a few where you kind of, well, what does that exactly do? I talked about this a few days ago about a HP recovery module. I didn't know if that was just recovery based on over time or if it was just an increased recovery rate when you, whenever you pick up one of the um, health orbs. Well, it's when you pick up one of the health orbs. I actually had to do some testing, a bit of maps myself. And we figured that out. Boss fight mechanics. The Colossi, Colossuses, whatever you want to call them, are pretty much all the same. They've got the same weak points. Yes, they've got pretty different, in some instances, um, battle orders, whatever you want to call them. You know, abilities they do and attacks and stuff like that. However, they're pretty easy to figure out. I think they've got about four different combos. Or, or moves, whatever you want to call them, what they can do. But ultimately, the boss fight mechanics, both for the Colossi, are pretty boring. And then the boss fight mechanics, while it's not a Colossi and it's just normal enemy, is shoot the balls. I think they could kind of do better with that. A pretty sly one here for Nexon. The, you get, obviously, your minimap. It shows you where all the drops are of the gear you get. However, it doesn't actually show you where the uh, Couplier drops are. Clypier? Couplier? I've got no idea how to pronounce that, guys. Um, but basically, that is the one resource in game you cannot straight up buy. The only thing you can do to improve your rate of getting those is by a 30% buff if you buy stuff in the store. There's no way you can buy that because ultimately people would just buy millions of it and they'd be max ranked. They'd have everything maxed out right now. So the Couplier drops should be shown on the minimap when there's actually some there. Because at the moment, guys, you actually have to look for it, and it's not easy to spot neither. I think Nexon are being a bit sneaky there, and they actually know what they're doing with that one. Um, white ammo. So general ammo seems extremely rare. There's loads of times where I've run out of it. Um, doesn't matter if I'm in the uh, battle arena with the Colossuses. Um, or Colossi. I don't, I don't know what, what's the right way of saying it. Colossuses or Colossi? Somebody let me know in the comments section who's got half a brain. Um, yeah, it just seems very rare. Again, is that a me problem or is that a game problem? I don't know. Maybe you guys can decide. Player collision. This is probably one as well, which is kind of annoying. That By default, player collision is off when you're in Albion, but it's on when you're in the game. You know, when you're outside of Albion. Bit of a weird one, that. I don't really understand why they've done that. But again, turn off player collision altogether. It doesn't really add anything to the game. Um, the training bot in Albion talks way too fast. 
So, especially when you're starting off this game and you've got the missions where it's surrounding, you've got to do this, go to the bot, it tells you what to do. The text goes way too fast. It talks... Well, sorry, it, the bot doesn't even talk. It's just text on your screen. And the text goes way too fast. The so next one, you need to slow that down or at least give people the option to press spacebar after every um, sentence, a paragraph or whatever. But yeah, it talks way too fast, especially when that's actually explaining the game to you. So it kind of needs to allow people to process what they've been told instead of just, you know, going through it at a million mile an hour. I don't know if this is a me problem, but it's like there's a delay on prompted input. So, you know, like when you're doing missions and you're picking stuff up or you go into those um, activation points and it says press E to do it. You can't press E straight away. There's like half a second delay. Then you have to press the button again. Um, so that's annoying as well. And other than that, guys, really, I haven't really got anything else to add. Um, I've been seeing people complaining a lot about, you know, the grinding, the drop rates. But it is what it is, guys. You know, it's a free-to-play video game. We all knew what we were getting in for. I've seen comments about people having to do a mission 10 times to get a 20% drop rate. Yes, by the law of averages, it should work five times. But that's just not a, a given. People have told me that Nexon have been done for, like, stuff to do with their RNG drop rates and stuff like that. I don't know how true that is. Again, I'm new to this franchise. I'm new to Nexon. I'm judging Nexon based on how I find them, not how other people have told me they've been. Um, because if you look at my channel over the years, guys, I've been negative. Pretty much every single video I've ever done on my video is negative. And I finally found something I'm passionate about, a video game I'm enjoying playing. So I'm going to try to be more positive on YouTube. And, you know, the last couple of videos I've done um, have, you know, been watched. I've got loads of new subscribers. I've got loads of new, um, you know, interactions on my channel. You know, my channel was pretty much dead. You know, flogging the dead horse, which was Call of Duty. But now, for some reason, you know, it's like I've got a future on YouTube. Even though, obviously, I don't do this, you know, full-time. It's just a hobby. But it's nice to know that, you know, people find my content okay. I'm not saying my content is brilliant, because it's not. It could be much better than what it is. Sorry, than what it is. Just because I've got limited time. You know, I'm a single, sole parent to my son Isaac. If you don't know much about me, my wife died a few years ago of cancer. Left me with a one-year-old child. He's now five. So, you know, it's me, my son Isaac. And, yeah, we're against the world, guys. And I work a 50-hour-a-week job, and then I fit YouTube in as a hobby around the time. So, yes, while I appreciate, guys, my content isn't the best on YouTube, it could be much better. Yes, I get that, but I just try to fit YouTube videos in when I can, and I don't take it too seriously. But, yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for your support on the first descendant. Long may it continue. Long may this game and Nexon keep on listening to its community. So yeah, hopefully you can sort, you know, maybe 50% of what I've said. If I've missed anything out, guys, because there's probably something I've missed obvious. Let's be real. Um, there's always something I miss on my videos. But if there is something I've missed, please let me know um, in the comments section. And yeah, I'll um, look forward to answering all your comments. So if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, if you want me to do one of these videos maybe once every couple of weeks just to kind of get on YouTube all the current issues with the game, um, leave a like, let me know. All right, thank you, guys. If we can get, I don't know, 10 likes on this video, that would be incredible. Thank you. Goodbye for now.